this is Adam from ProCAD. So in this video I just want to go through the Vault user interface and just some kind of handy navigation features. Um, so before I start here in Vault, uh, the Vault user interface is fairly similar to your standard Windows File Explorer interface in that down the left you have a folder structure, kind of a tree view of what folders you're looking at. In the middle you have the files you're looking at and say on the right here you might have a preview or something similar. So Vault has all that and many more features. Um, down the left here you have a folder tree that kind of shows the folders you're looking through. Up top here you have the, fol the files within that folder or the folders within that folder. Down the bottom here you have your preview as I ex mentioned earlier but you also have a whole bunch of other features here. Um, for instance you have uses and where used with assemblies so for instance if I click on an assembly I can click on uses and I can see all of the parts that make up that assembly similarly if I go to one of these parts another handy feature is you can just right click on one of these parts and select go to folder uh, so if I look at this part I can go to where used and I can expand here and I can see which assemblies this part is used in so this is a kind of a handy feature of Vault for Inventor users. You're able to kind of navigate between which parts you have and which uh, part, which assemblies those parts are used in. And also in reverse, you can see which parts are, are in each assembly. Um, on the right here, we have the properties grid. Um, there'll be some later videos on custom properties, but uh, you can add basically any property you can think of into your Vault. And if you want to map those properties to a separate database, that's possible. Uh, stuff like maybe part number, stock number, project, engineer, designer, uh, and many more. Uh, there's one other thing you might usually see here, which is the uh, shared views. Uh, we'll be going into that in another video, but uh, the shared views is just another uh, dialogue you can have open here within your kind of standard user visual interface. Most of what I've been doing here is just looking through Project Explorer. This is just your file folder area of within your vault. Uh, additionally, you have your item master if you have items in your vault and you can sort and filter these. Uh, this is almost similar to Excel or so are folders within vault. You can customize view and you can add any number of properties up here and then you can sort by those properties. So for instance, I want to pick a field like um, let's just say date modified as an example and I can put date modified in there and then I can sort by date modified or I could even filter by date modified so I only want to see stuff that was modified on and pick a date here that something actually was modified the 4th of November there and there you go you filter down all items that were modified at that time uh, you can do the same stuff in file explorer um, I already have date modified here as an example, so I can just use date modified February 20th there as an example. And there we have the one file that I modified on that particular day within this folder structure. Another handy feature I want to show off here is the My Shortcuts uh, area over here on the left. So say I think I'm going to be working on this file frequently, I might just drag this down and stick it here. And that, and that means I'll always have a shortcut to that file from here say I'm going to be working on this part frequently I can just drag it down here and I'll have it and I, as a shortcut and I can remove it any time. Uh, same goes for folders. Also if you're in change order list which is your ECOs if you're using uh, lifecycle management here if you have reviewers and approvers you're going to want to use ECOs. Uh, conveniently it'll put my work list here on the left and this will automatically populate depending on the states that ECOs are in and whether or not you're expected to make the next uh, change, whether it be to review something or close something or work on something. When something is waiting for your input, it will be in your My Work List panel here on the left. 